the maybe the biggest surprise is not seeing a running back listed on the final four. I thought, you know, there have been years where we've had five finalists, right? And it's just kind of a I'm not a participa- participation trophy guy either, but I, I was a bit surprised that we didn't see Kenneth Walker on that list, given the fact of how often we talked about him through the regular season as a national storyline. You guys agree or disagree? Kenneth Walker was definitely the one you could argue snub of the group that, that got the biggest uh, get, got the biggest response from people. I'm with you, though. I think the stage gets crowded with five. I like three or four. Uh, four is a good number for finalists to actually be at the ceremony in, in New York City. So I'm I'm okay with the four that were selected. Kenny Pickett and C.J. Stroud, the quarterbacks that will be there, along with the, uh, the favorite to take the trophy home and give the speech, which is Alabama quarterback Bryce Young. And then there's Michigan defensive end and pass rush specialist Aiden Hutchinson, who is outstanding, uh, and it's cool to see the defense represented because there's been uh, plenty of uh, players throughout the country that are that are deserving to uh, to see the recognition, and they will through the the postseason awards. Um, but Paul, it's it's quarterback heavy, and it's ultimately a quarterback award. I saw more Will Anderson complaints, really, and that I think my timeline's more heavy towards scouting uh, NFL draft Nick types. I think he's he's, and they don't want to put la- a second Bama person. It's not, on yeah, it. I, it's not fair, but I think he kind of gets canceled out because of the voters who write down Bryce Young's name. I, yeah, I, I mean, I, I would agree with that. Well, and Aiden Hutchinson. I think there's there's, there's just not enough him. air in that room in New York City for two defensive players <laughs> to be there. Let's face it; it, so was, it was going to be out, one of the two canceled out by his own yeah. quarterback, canceled out by, by the, uh, the other defensive player. Yeah. I mean, I hope it's Aiden Hutchinson because I'd love to see someone else screwed over by a, a Michigan defensive player winning the Heisman <laughs> outside of Peyton Manning in Tennessee. Uh, so that that would be a nice story. It's just it's it's boring to me. Like, I, I know this boring. is it's, it's just it sounds. It's not that it's predetermined. It's just like Alabama has the best players. I mean, it's I I don't know. It's not Devontae Smith winning a year ago. Uh, you know, Tua Tungavailoa winning it. And now another Alabama quarterback who, oh, by the way, is not done with his eligibility yet, could win it again next year winning it. I'm not saying he's undeserving. I'm not going to sit here and whine and complain about it. It just doesn't get me that excited. If if a surprise happened, if Kenny Pickett won it, that would get me excited. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson as a defensive player might get me excited, but that's not going to happen. It's going to be Bryce Young. When's the last time, I, and maybe it's been more recently than I thought, but if there was any suspense in the room been a long time i feel like yeah i'm trying well, we to didn't know of, who was winning it or there wasn't a clear cut favorite like where it came down to two guys and there was actually some i don't know bad. i feel like in recent years there's, there's yeah been there's been some, a few uh, good debates going on i'm, I'm trying to close find closest calls, Heisman votes. some close calls but none that you felt like were undeserving winners i'll say this too what makes it boring for me in the heisman vote overall is i, I think it's watered down by the voters there are too many people who cover football who don't love football Let's just put that out there right now. People who don't love ball, so they can't talk ball. Uh, they, they they casually watch it. They follow the teams that are in their market or in their region, and that's pretty much it. You really think that 870 media voters know what's going on across college football? Why did it get no. so big? Uh, no, that the answer to that is no. Um, I don't know why it got so big, but I mean, there's just. There are some that take it really seriously and others who just write down names. I also don't like the way that you go about voting for it and you tally up the first, second, and third place votes. And I don't know. I just think there's, there's way too – it just makes it, it, makes it very difficult uh, for, like Chad's saying, someone on the periphery to work their way in and actually win the award, even if Hutchison is the best college football player. Well, well uh, by the way, I of mean, the closest votes in history uh, in the top 12 – the l- most recent one was 2009. Mark Ingram over Toby Gerhardt mm. of Stanford in 2009. We've argued, Hutt, about that. Uh, like, NFL MVP is just one vote. And we've argued about that. I, I have, anyway, about that kind of holding well, so other people out. The way out they do it, it is supposed to, it's supposed to help different regions of the country be represented more. Yeah, don't you win a region? Isn't it almost like an yeah, electoral then you, college? Yes, but then like it allows the if you're voting in the SEC, it allows you to write down a name from the Big Ten that you've seen, but also 
You, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, other regions can list other players. I don't know. I mean, well, and I like I like um, players having a say in it, but then I don't like it when I hear some of the rationale for players and who they vote for, which it's you know to them it's just a popularity contest. It's yeah, they the, the guy in my for conference, the guy at your college, yeah, right. They're, they're always going to vote for their guy at their school or their conference. All right, just you can just do a Google search of of how many players across the country receive votes. Like there were forty, like just a quick Google search. There's forty three players in 2017 who received a vote. A Heisman. Forty three current players. A current no, there were forty three players in in the 2017 season who received a vote to win the oh, Heisman. Oh, 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 I got you. Forty three. Yeah. Plus Heisman voters get a vote on top of this 800 whatever media, right? Yes. But what it tells me, yes, they do. But what it tells me is that's people who are narrowed in to a region that are voting for players in their region on their three that they list, right? Yep. That's that's how I view it anyway. They're not looking outside because they're not watching a lot of Pac-12 football, right? They're not they're not looking around to Thibodeau, the pass rusher for the Ducks. Set some of the voting based on bedtime. This is it. But remember when this was... Well, they're covering a game. I mean, you really think yeah, right. they, they're covering a game and they're watching the games that they're missing? Or are they just looking at a stat sheet? Well, I, I get what you're saying, but NFL voters you know, are likely covering a game when they're voting for MVP and they do a pretty good job checking in a league. I understand there's only 16 games in a weekend. Well, there's also less games to cover. Yeah. Like you, they, you, can, you can pretty much get a – if you cover a team, you're going to see the majority of some MVP caliber players Over in the person. Over the course of the year. Right? Yeah. So – a year ago, by the way, it was pretty close in the voting. Devontae Smith over Trevor Lawrence. That, yeah, that's 669 points shy was Trevor Lawrence. Uh, Mac, Mac Jones finished third. Kyle Trask fourth in last year's voting. So that was a relatively close race. That also broke the string of quarterbacks in so many consecutive years with Devontae Smith, the receiver. So that was, that was somewhat exciting. This was must-watch TV for years and years, though. It's not at and all. And now man. it's more of a... Check it out on social media and see who won Kinda, when it happens, yeah. and then go read about it. Um, I, I tend to agree on that, but it is you know this also Hutton. I think about this with uh, your proclamation on Saturday about Alabama saving the college football playoff by beating Georgia and getting the two best teams in the country in with Georgia and Alabama, so you have a chance at at least one great game in that college football playoff if if Bama and Georgia play again. Um, I kind of think about that with people wanting outsiders into the college football playoff. And then sometimes once you get the outsiders, it's why can't these spreads be closer? Why can't we get great games? And then I look at, you also complain about, and I I mean, certainly mentally I get fatigued by some of the same programs represented every year with the Heisman. But then if it's not that, are people as excited about the Heisman? <laughs> you know, it's I, I it's, know what it's you're a it's a tricky proposition on on both sides. We we claim we want new blood, we claim we want this and that, and then the Dallas Cowboys have thirty million viewers for every game, right? I mean, that's ultimately these everyone that votes on anything, every television network, they know where their bread's buttered, and they know eventually what people can say what they want, but they're going to tune in for Alabama Georgia Part Two. If that happens, even if everybody in America is saying, I'm tired of the SEC, they're still going to watch.